hope they get here before daylight. Sir, here's what held us up. Oh, baby, geez, red. All you babies are red. Well, Sister Anna, Sister Felisa, this is Mr. Caldwell. We have a couple of life rafts, and we'll get you all aboard the Thunder. If you'll just step this way, please. Sister Anna, if you'll go with Mr. Caldwell and three children, with you, please, and the other sister, will you come with me, please? Yes, I know Jones, and I'll give him about one more minute. What do you got there, Jonesy? Souvenir, sir. You were ordered to avoid trouble. Oh, it wasn't any trouble, sir. Uh, natural causes. He tripped over me. I couldn't leave him, sir. You said not to let the Japs know we were here. Hey, this fellow's breathing. I'll stuff him under a tree where he'll be quiet for a while. Let's get out of here. Aye, aye, sir. Mighty hungry. They tell them they can have all the seconds they want. Yeah. 
Oh, sure you do. Be sure to blow on it now. It's pretty hot. Oh, he ran into the tree, seeing the fox is right behind him. So he goes up the tree, and he's going to eat that red big old tail. So he goes round and round trying to signal to somebody. Go ahead, eat up. Go on. That's this boat and the crew all over. The gifts that we are about to receive for thy bounty. Party report, huh? Yes, sir. I hope I got everything in there. Should be. Five pages. You think the captain will like it? I'm sure he will. I can tell you exactly what he'll say in his patrol report. What, sir? Special mission accomplished. Yes, sir. Center of formation. Two six thousand yards. Left ship in formation bearing zero four zero degrees. All ahead full. Steady on course three two zero. All ahead full, sir. Steady on course three two zero. Commence the plot. Aye, aye, sir. Up scope. Stand by to fire all tubes. Stand by to fire all tubes. Baby. Watch those children. Here, grab that kid. Here, Sonny. Sister Anna. Better get these kids out of here. Number one fired. Number two fired. Halfway to the target. Mr. Caldwell, take over. Right, Sister Anna, we better get these children out of here. Take her down fast. Hurry it up. Let the big bad destroyer get you. Rig for depth charge. Rig for sight of running. Hang on, Sister Anna. It may get a little sticky. Kids, take a look at Butch. After 
five special missions, we line up a submariner's dream, and what happens? Torpedoes explode halfway to the target. Take over, dude. No power on diving rudder. Shift to hand power. Hard dive, all ahead full. Level her off. like he kept right on going after the convoy. Mm -hmm. No more propellers. He's gone. Gone, huh? They must have rolled that one off a sailboat. Mr. Caldwell, remind me to write a letter to the builders of this boat. Aye, aye, sir. What did you want to say? Dear builders, thanks. What's the job, Cookie? Green rubber gloves. Green what? Rubber gloves. There's a rubber glove in one pan and there's milk in the other one. Well, I'm a monkey's uncle. Who ordered that? The exec. Find time to tell me. Come on, Butch. Feedback. Some things kind of crowd a man, don't they? Those nuns. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Never a whimper out of them. Some of them walked 40 miles. Clear across the island, right through. Jungles and Japs and... Nothing to protect them but a string of beads. And the kids. They couldn't carry them all. They didn't understand, so they'd cry. Couldn't let him cry, because that'd give us away. And that baby. The mother didn't have a chance. But the kid, he pops into the world. We spank him on the bottom and wrap him in a blanket and let's go. He's a game little guy. You ever hear from Mary Stewart? Nope. 
know she was in Honolulu? I heard it in Brisbane. I liked her. I married her. I never saw two people start out with so many things going for them. Army, Navy games, parties at the Bellevue, Stratford, hops at the academy, graduation, hats in the air, wedding in the chapel, honeymoon. And then the submarine school, cold, wet winters at New London, sea duty, no home, no leave. Makes more than that to cause a split up. When a gal like Mary Stewart marries into the Navy, she signs on for that stuff. Not for what I do, Stout. The eager beaver. I was at sea on a volunteer mission, making test runs with that new sonar equipment when my son was born. Five weeks later, I was down 240 feet, trying to get a line around the squalus when he died. Like you say, something's kind of crowded there. What's the matter? Oh, that baby kind of got to him. Baby? Him? Yeah, him. Well, mister? What is it? Damage control report, sir. Commander Submarine Thunder, Tacom Sub Pack, Pearl Harbor. Women and children aboard. Request ambulance and nurses. Suggest Mary Stewart meet Thunder. Make it a priority message. Aye, sir. Lieutenant, women and children coming in aboard the submarine Thunder. Go pick them up. Thunder? Yes. Commander Steele, I'd like to be excused. My ex-husband's on that boat. But I thought you wanted to meet him. I do. But on the Thunder, I'll be the visiting team. I'd like the first meeting to be on my home ground. But as your senior officer, I should comply with this request and order you to go. But as one woman to another, how's your headache? Splitting. You're excused. Thank you. Sir. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Pearl. How are you? Nice to see you, sir. Nice. Carry on, yeah. Hello, Captain. Well, somebody enjoyed himself in Australia. <laughs> yes, sir. Nice people down there, sir. Yeah, well, we're happy to be home, too, sir. Uh, Chief? Well, good afternoon, sir. What's the matter? You look worried. I lost one of my children, sir. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Shall we go below, gentlemen? Let's go. Sorry about your carrier, Pop. We contacted the Saratoga, and her plane's got the cruiser and two destroyers. The carrier got away. Well, better luck next patrol. We direct her up ourselves, Admiral, except for those two prematures that rattled our eye teeth. What are we going to do about those torpedoes? Sure knocked the bottom out of my gang. Those magnetic exploders are driving us all crazy. Everybody from the Bureau of Ordnance on down is working on it. We're doing something. We're dropping them next patrol. Good. We're going back to contact exploders. Maybe we can get a few hits now. Here's our patrol report, sir. Captain. Captain. Yes? Sister Anna is leaving and wants to say goodbye. Go ahead, Pop. No, Duke, you brought him aboard. You take the bow. Bows we take together. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 
Oh. Sister Anna, we've been looking for you. Commander Gifford, we've been wondering what to say after thank you. Well, why don't you just let it go at that? It's been a pleasure to have you aboard, sister. Well, tonight in chapel, I know the words will come to me. I seem to think better when I'm kneeling. Goodbye. Goodbye. What's the matter? Huh? Oh, oh, nothing. Well, don't you think we'd better get below with the braid? Yeah, just a minute. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm sorry, nurse. I, I thought she was... I thought you were somebody else. I beg your pardon. <laughs> think you know her? Well, there was a nurse in Darwin and I... We better get below. germs in on those poor little things. Well, where's yours? Are you the baby's father? No, I was... Well, then you shouldn't be here at all. Please leave it, Ross. Oh, wait a minute. I carried that baby all the way through the jealous help delivery. All right. Now he's delivered. As for the rest of it, may I remind you that this is not the jungle. Good day. Well, how do you like that? All I want to do is say hello to Butch, and she comes charging in. Butch? Sure, Butch the baby. I suppose you don't like Butch for a name. I suppose I love it. I knew a Butch. Still there, huh? What? That old zing. Of course he's still there, you big ape. What do you think could happen to it? Things you said at the trial. Do you think anybody ever tells a real reason for a divorce at the trial? Well, what was the real reason? Just now when I kissed you. Oh, well, that's where we were four years ago. Hey, I'm proud of you. Where did you train? General Hospital, Durham. What did the gentleman from North Carolina say? Dad was all for it. I told him it was sort of a penance. You felt like you should do penance? Well, I felt like one of us should. Penance? I've been numb for four years trying to figure what happened to us. We had something, but I guess I kicked it around. Why don't we pick up the pieces and start over? What time do you get out of here? 6.30. At 6.30, you pick up your hat, coat, stick, and gloves, and we'll go out on the town. Wine? Wine, of course. You remember that little hotel? The, the waiter, waiter asked about you. You too? Uh-huh. After dinner, we'll dance a while, and then we'll sneak away. I know it. Oh, I do. I've got a date. Break it. I can't. It's with Bob Perry. You ought to remember him. Bob Perry? Little Bobby Perry, Pop's kid brother. What makes you think he's such a kid? Why, well, I used to pat him on the head. You seen him recently? No. Well, the next time you're going to pat him on the head, let me know, will you? I want to be there. Well, we'll take care of that later. Now about Bob. Duke, I got a date. <laughs> you're a tenant. 
It's all right, Commander. This is my headache. I could never marry a submariner. I like to sleep with the windows open. Mr. Caldwell is doing all right. He sure is. Mmm. Tasty. Special? I promised somebody I'd buy wine tonight. Well, here we go. Say, uh, whatever happened to that kid brother of yours? Bob? <laughs> You'd never know him, dude. What a great, big, good-looking guy he turned out to be. And what he does to those gals. <laughs> he sure got all the glamour in our family. Good evening. You too, please. Glad to sleep. Look, Bob. It's Pop and Duke. Mary Stewart. Pop. Bob? Duke, you remember Bob, or don't you recognize him? Oh, yes, Fly Fly Boy. Sarah, we got that cruiser for you. If you run into any more good targets, just let us know. We'll take care of them for you. Don't say anything, Duke. You know we can never hope for any glory like they get. You realize that, huh? You know we can do things you pig boat boys can never yes, do. Yes, sir, you sure can. For instance, there's no record of a submarine ever sinking one of our own planes by mistake. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, sit down. Up. The wine's good. Duke's by it. Oh, we'd like to, but Mary Stewart and I were just about to dance. You know, it's a funny thing, but Mary Stewart and I were just about to dance. Well, what do you say, sugar? Well, it's a very funny thing, but I was just going to ask Pop to dance. Excuse us. <laughs> What's the matter, Cupid? I read your wire. You've been seeing a lot of Bob? Uh-huh. So we level like always? Like always, Pa. Good. I think you and Duke belong together. I don't know what's been keeping you apart, but I'd hate to think you were using my kid brother to solve your problem. Uh, why didn't I meet you first, Pa? Tell me about yourself. Pop hasn't given me a rundown for quite a while. Oh, big disappointment to my brother. When I decided against that Navy career, I, I stabbed him. What did you want to be? What do you mean, want to be? I am an architect. I build things. Can't build much from 10,000 feet with a load of bombs. There's a war on. You know, Duke, I've always envied you. When I was a high school senior in all-city tackle, you ran 92 yards for a touchdown to beat Army. Now when I got to Stanford, won the UCLA game with a home run in the ninth inning. Papers were full of what a big man you were at the raising of that sunken sub. Remember? For 400 dives on that job, I made 10 of them. I know, but you're the guy they talked about. And then when I joined up, got my picture in the hometown paper. They crowded me off in a corner with a story about what a hero you were at the bombing of Cavite. And now, here we go again. Aren't you dramatizing this thing a little? No. It's different this time. You're not the hero, you're the sucker. Any man who will let Mary Stewart get away from him is a sucker. I see what you mean. But, as the fellow says, like the ashes of Alexander, I was once Alexander. I'm not sure I get that. But just to keep the record straight, Mary Stewart and I are going to be married. You told her that? Several times. What did she say? Well, she didn't say no. Excuse me. Cutting in, Captain. Sure, Duke, sure. You 
You look wonderful tonight, Duke. You know, I've always liked The kid says he asked you to marry him. How about it? I had no idea it was so late. Bob, I... I want to explain a little situation to you. All right, Pop. Yes, sir. Bob, will you get me back before curfew? I sure will. Excuse Good me. Good night, Pop. Good night, Mary Stewart. Good night, Duke. Thanks for the wine. Big night for you. Yes. I enjoyed it. Must be a nice guy. Pop wouldn't like him, and you wouldn't have married him. So how's it with us? Still the same. I wonder if it's ever still the same when a girl meets her ex-husband. I see what you mean. Call you tomorrow. Please do. Mary Stewart. Duke. You're still the softest walking man I ever heard. Kid says he asked you to marry him. That's right. You gonna do it? I don't know. He wants to go someplace where they never heard of the Navy. And that appeals to you? His idea is to fly back to Wichita, Kansas. Start walking inland with a pair of oars. And when we get to where somebody says, what's that you got on your shoulders? That's it. Just tell me one thing. When you kiss him, do you get that old zing? Oh. Now you're talking like a jealous husband. Ex-husband, and don't evade the question. It's not a fair question. A girl can't spend the rest of her life kissing. It's a good thing to fall back on when you run out of talk. If you wanted to be a nurse, you didn't have to become a Navy nurse. Be sent to Pearl, where you might see me. Duke, I have a life of my own to live. I didn't want to live it being afraid to run into you. So you ran into me. What now? I don't know. It's not as simple as I thought. It took a war to make me understand. Or maybe it's just that I'm four years older. But there hasn't been a day that you weren't with me. Or a night. On patrol or ashore. In town or pushing some kids through the jungles with a baby in my arms. Duke. Especially with that baby in my arms. Duke, what good will that kind of talk do now? I'm trying to convince you that I want another chance. I haven't much time to plead my cause. I called a chaplain friend of mine and asked him to stand by. We could have a few days together before I shove off. Wait a minute, dude. I didn't spend these years to be brushed off my feet by a white uniform. Big moon and the perfume of ginger flowers. Tree orchids. You know what I mean. You're thinking about the old zine. But I'm thinking about the rest of my life. I can't afford to make another mistake. The only mistake you made was in getting that divorce. We're both grown up now. We could have grown up together. Maybe I wasn't around a lot of times I should have been. But I guarantee you that I'm going to spend the, all the time I have off duty making it up to you. Commander! What is it, Chief? I'd like to speak to the Commander, sir. Excuse me, Harry. How'd you know where I was? Good evening, Chief. Good evening, ma'am. Lieutenant. Yes, Lieutenant, ma'am. What's the trouble? Well, a 
bunch of the guys went to a luau. You know, a roast pig, Okula How, fresh from the still. Uh, hula girl. Yes, I know. Well, you know, Jonesy, the Hawaiian police tried to break it up, and then the shore patrol got into it, and of course, somebody started swinging. Well, anyway, sir, they're all being held on the shore patrol station. A friend of mine phoned me. Couldn't you and your friend get them out? No, ma'am, on account of the Hawaiians. They want damages. This may be serious. I know. You better go take care of your Navy. Go ahead. Remember what I told you? I meant it. Let's go, Chief. Yes, sir. Please, Commander, look at my guitar. Hello, Mick. You booked them yet, Chief? Well, no, sir, we... Uh... We haven't booked them because we haven't figured out all the charges yet. That bad, huh? Worse. It's hard to believe about my crew. Do you think they belong in the nursery? Think I've got them in there for stealing somebody's dolls? Give me that report, Chief. In car number one, we were cruising near Cocoa Head. That's five miles out of bounds, incidentally. Our attention was attracted to a disturbance involving naval personnel. Investigation disclosed a dozen members of the Thunder crew at a luau. The Hawaiians were trying to get them to leave. It was past curfew. They became noisy and belligerent. When the Hawaiians sent the hula girls home, the fight started. I'd like to talk to the man that made out that report. Then you'll have to go to the naval hospital. He's in there with five of my best men. Now, I know that you submariners are practically winning this war single-handed, but I don't see how fighting with our shore patrolmen is going to weaken the Japs. Well, there must have been great provocation for my gang, if it was my gang. If it was your gang? Bring those guys from the Thunderfish out here. Come on, you Thunderbirds. That's what I've been trying to tell you. All in the one scully here. Hurry it up. Uh, Wipe those smiles off your face. How lively now. Hurry it up. Right. Hey. Jonesy? Yes, sir? Did you engineer this? No, sir. Natural causes. Could I talk to you privately, Commander? You can talk to me, but it won't do you any good. Fighting men, huh? Not even the Admiral could get you out of this one. Now, let's be reasonable about this. No, thing, no, man. not a chance. I'd like to help you, Duke, but it's got to stop someplace. Night after night, my men are getting knocked down like ten pins. If it isn't the thunder, it's the tang or the silver sides or the wahoo or the growler. What makes you submarine? Is Listen, so... Mick, these kids have been out on a tough patrol. No, I know, I know. You brought back some children. And two nuns. That still doesn't excuse the... Nuns, did you say? And there's something else. The kids don't know it, but they're going right out again. All right. All right, Duke, I'll make a deal with you. I'll forget my end of this if you can fix up the damages with the Hawaiians. How much do they want? $233.50. $233.50? There isn't that much in the whole crew, including the officers. It's the best I can do. Let me out. Let me out. Take it easy, kid. What's the matter with you? I don't know, sir. Something went click, and here I am. 
He was hit over the head with a bottle, sir. A bottle of what? Oh, Cooley House, sir. Oh, Cooley How, huh? Yes, sir. Intoxicating liquor. Commander, I demand that you throw these men in the brig for selling bootleg of Cooley out of my crew. Please, Commander, please. We had a big luau, a big feast. We had plenty of old Cooley How, good old Cooley How. Where'd you get it? We made it special. That's what I mean. How much are you trying to collect from these men? $233.50. Uh-huh. Commander, what is the fine for bootlegging old Cooley How? $233.50. But how about our instruments? And how about the guitars and, and, and the damages? How about the bootleg liquor? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why don't you guys call it even? You forget the damages, you forget the liquor. How about it? Hey, uh, make it, make it, make it, Very good, Captain. All right with you, Commander? All right. Get out of here before I change my mind. Uh, no, very thank you. Uh, and, and then we have a big luau. We have a big luau, and we won't charge you nothing. And no goalie house. No goalie house. Goodbye, Admiral. Aloha. Aloha. Be sure you're smiling next month when those ukuleles come floating across the payroll. Get him out of here, Chief. All right, sir. Follow me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So help me, Duke. If that crew shows up again, I'll... Aloha, Commander. See you, Duke? Yes, sir. Excuse us, will you please? Don't get hurt. Don't worry. Take care of yourself. Thanks for coming down, but uh, did you have to bring that kid? I didn't bring him, Duke. He came to say goodbye to Pop. I'll never understand this situation. If you're using Bob to put me over the jumps, all right. But if you're by any chance serious, I want to make sure you don't do anything about it till I get back. Sure, I'm using the boat and the flags and everything else that'll work for me. Don't expect the guy to give himself the worst of it, do you? Not this guy. I hope I'm interrupting. You. Don't forget to duck. Stand by your lines. Stand by your lines. All in your gangway. That's it, let it go. Fall back one third. Fall back one third. 